Hello friends, I hope you will be good friends. So friends, today we will be see the one <coughs> video. So here we will connect the JDBC. Okay, so let's get start and we will start from the scratch. So how to the JDBC will work and uh, how to depend uh, <coughs> libraries will import in our uh, project. Okay, so let's get start friends. So first of all you will see here uh, I am going to open the visual studio code and after that I am going to the folder where I want to the store this project ok so I am going to the our folder where I want to the store this folder this folder this project we can set that our program ok so <coughs> this file is going to be opening ok so here you will create uh, press the right and after then you will see here the java program otherwise it will be not visible so you can write the java and it will be visible ok and after then you will select so and after then you will select no build tools ok and uh, this pro this project is asking the location of where you want to store our the project so I want to store in that folder my project so select and after then he asking the input a java project name so I am writing here the name of the project my SQL connection ok and pressing the enter and after then you will see here the another vs code is going to be open ok so after then you will wait uh, some time friends you will see the one project's name of the folder will be visible ok so you can go here and you will write here the program like uh, you want to the connect with the establish the connection to the databases ok so I am going to the right here the one simple <coughs> simple program as you can I can see you mysql cell where is mysql cell And firstly, I want to show you friends uh, our the databases where I want to the access that data, and we will print that data whatever data has uh, stored inside the table. Okay, so it's a uh, little bit taking time. So I'm going to the backslash SQL, and after that backslash connect local host at the red root and password I'm I have not given a password so I that why I provided it's giving error okay I let's check it connect what is backslash connect root at the rate local host and session is going to be create it has started you can see here the local edge session local edge 3306 started so so databases ok so as you can see here the these are the all databases I am going to the to be so first query I have written this one and after then I have written this one after then friends if you have uh, given the password so it will be uh, asked you the password but uh, in my case I have not given the password so that's why it has not asked me password okay so I am uh, written here the so databases so video it will be little bit long friends but uh, I am going to the explain it from the scratch 
so you can see here the I have created a simple databases so let's write yeah, I want to use that one database so I will write the use sample so it it has going to be use use sample it's giving the name of sample okay so tables okay and after then <coughs> we will write here the uh, select a strip from a student underscore info okay friends semicolon so as you can see here the i have created id name and age so we will print this one okay so <coughs> this is a simple example simple example basic example we can say that so we will print one to take the our mysql has working jdbc has connector is working or not if this data will be printed in our terminal so we can say that our connection has established okay so move on the our the vs code and i'm going to the right here the i'm going to the right here the connection connection con is equals to null and after that <coughs> a statement has also null and the result set is also null okay why it's showing the underline is compiler is error so because of that here i was not imported the java SQL right I have imported so it will be error has removed and I will use the try and catch block because of that class code name it always be throw the error if data if connection will fail so that's why it that's why it will be so uh, throw the exception so that's why it will be right inside the try and catch block without try and catch block it will be throw the error okay so that's why I am writing inside the try and catch block to handle the exceptions also if occur the exceptions so it has <coughs> completed so here I will writing the uh, this one I will remove right now and here I I will using the stream URL and here I will write the my database name is sample all right and after then i will use the uh, a string sorry a string username and this one is the other root all right and password has all blank so i will keep the blank okay and i will write here the con name of variable why because i have already taken the connection class so and this one variable we consider it object so we are passing this driver manager dot get connection url where we will pass the three variables three inputs we can say that yeah, or we can say that the parameters so url username and password we can write also the this one in a single line but uh, for the simplicity i am writing the step by step okay and after then <coughs> statement statement because why this statement because you can see here the, this statement where provide the functions to execute the queries so and also store the queries and pass the queries so you can see here the connection has required so that's why connection i have taken okay and create this statement function and after then this with the help of the 
statement first of all i will write here the one a string sql or we can say that query q u e r y okay and we can say that here my database name is what is my database name is you can see here the a student info so i will write here the student info and after then uh result set rs okay so rs where will we store the all the results okay whatever results fetch from the after executing this query <coughs> will be stored inside this variable okay so statement dot execute query and name of the query is here okay so that one i am passing here semicolon and after then friends because inside the databases no only presented a single row they have they will be presented the multiple rows so that's why i will using the loop for printing the all data whatever store so rs dot next and this next will be iterating process will be execute and after then and i am writing here the system out dot println <coughs> i am writing here the one by one step okay so here int id is equals to rs dot get rs here is the name of the where is going to query will be executed and after then query will execute and id will be stored okay so here i am using the get int get int it's mean id is a, as a integer so that's why it will be integer okay and here name is a string so that's why it's get string is method and this one has the name of the where is query is going to be executed and after then <coughs> what is the after then h so after then int s is also integer okay and after then i will take the one out where i will print the one by one id here will be replace and name will be here and age will be here okay and after the entry this try and catch block completed we need to the catch statement so where we will be handle the catch whatever the exception will be occur inside the this try uh, try block okay because most of the time uh, this class for name uh, throwing the error okay so and here a finally block will be executed because when result uh, will be not null so that time it's uh, mandatory to close the connection and uh, same as the connection and uh, statement queries also okay so this has done and i am going to the run the program so do not click the directly on this code run click on the right button and you go to the run java okay and after then you will see here the it's giving the error what is error java lang class not found exception my sql cj jdbc driver it's mean this one is cannot identify that's why so friends because of that we have not important why this exception has throwing because we have written the try and catch block so that's why we can able to understand okay so you can see here the inside this java projects section there is no uh, store the any libraries okay so we need to the connector jdbc connector so let's go on the browser and where we will be download the connector okay so you can come on this website mysql connector and you will visit this one connector and you will go the in the download section no sorry you will see here the jdbc driver for mysql connector j okay you will click here and whatever your operating system so you will go and select the platform independent 
okay if you are the ubuntu so you select the ubuntu linux okay so it's depend upon the operating system if operating system name is available here so you can select otherwise you will select the platform independent so uh, my operating system is a windows so i am selecting the platform independent and i will download this one okay because this one is the zip and archive file so i will i am downloading this one and no thanks just download my downloads and it will be download inside the download folder so it has going to be downloaded okay so i am going to the download folder let's see unzip it where is unzip it has going to be unzip here and uh, as you can see here the here the our the executable jar file so i come inside the our program and i will click on this plus where is the project class path and i will go inside the download and uh, here is where is my jar file jar file is here and i will select the jar libraries so you can see here the it has going to be imported and inside this you will see here the mysql cj you can see here the com dot mysql cj dot jdbc and you can see here the same it has inside this okay so after the friends we will i am going to the run this program click on the right button and run the dava so after then as you can see here the our problem has solved and it's not going to throw the any error and uh, whatever it was a store inside the database so it was showing here if i am going to the insert here insert into a student underscore info and id name is values what is values yes values 3 comma where it is showing it's not visible on the screen okay and after then name radio mark and after then is is 22 it has it enter it's going to be a store let's see the in our program and click on the right click and run java it also so so it has completed our program i hope this video it will be helpful for you friends so if you have any problem so do comment and i will share this code uh, inside the description i will provide you the github link so thank you